there's a new devil on the streets. Actually, several new devils. They are the nitrazines, a class of synthetic opioids that have already killed about 250 people since 2019. They're often passed off as fentanyl or oxycodone or are mixed in with these drugs. The criminal world is constantly looking for novel substances with which to ensnare people who are looking for a high. And the uh, goal, of course, is to convert them into addicts. The motive? Money. As authorities crack down on routes by which fentanyl, morphine, heroin, and oxycodone find their way into the hands of addicts, dealers search for novel psychoactive alternatives that can turn a profit. Underground chemists are happy to oblige and synthesize compounds that fit into opiate receptors on cells. There's a wealth of information on such possibilities since the search for morphine-like compounds that can kill pain without killing the patient or causing addiction has been the holy grail of pharmaceutical research. Synthetic opiates like fentanyl and oxycodone were the result of such research, but unfortunately did not solve the problem of addiction or of side effects. Criminals did not worry about addiction, of course. After all, that was the goal. So the synthetic opiates appeared on the street. The simplest way to get at new opiates was to slightly alter the molecular structure of existing compounds like fentanyl and create new ones that were not illegal because they never existed before. Since 2009, some 80 synthetic opiates have been detected on the street, causing misery and death. In 2019, a new class of compounds, the nitazines, appeared and were linked with a number of deaths from overdose. They were originally developed by the Swiss pharmaceutical company Siba in the 1950s in a search for painkillers that were as effective as morphine but had a better safety profile. While these compounds did fit into opiate receptors on cells and were shown to be effective painkillers in mice, they were at least as addictive as morphine and furthermore, depressed respiration more than morphine. They were never marketed as pharmaceutical products. Unfortunately, nitazines are not difficult to synthesize. Anyone with a background in organic chemistry can make them. There's no need for sophisticated labs. It seems, though, that the samples that have appeared in North America likely come from China, where there are all sorts of unregulated labs that will produce what Ford customers want. And drug dealers want morphine, fentanyl, and oxycodone, but they will happily buy cheaper drugs that can masquerade as these, which the nitazines can do. But a user accustomed to a certain dose of fentanyl can overdose by using the same amount of nitazine, since these drugs are more effective at impairing respiration. Nitazines may be used to cut fentanyl or oxycodone, something that an addict will not notice, until this is manifested as an overdose. As with other opiates, an overdose can be treated with the opiate antagonist naloxone, but several doses may be required. As I said, nitazines are devilish indeed. And that for today is our Kappa Joe.